Guys, before this video begins, I just wanted to put this little clip in of me meeting two guys in America who watch TGF Bro and my channel. It was on the site Amigle. I've actually never used Amigle before. Came across these two dudes who support TGF and my channel, as I said. So just check this little clip out. Said I'd put them in the video and enjoy apart from that. Whoa. Yeah, I've met these two absolute legends, man, who watch TGF and That's now so sub to my channel. It's a good good pleasure to meet you. It's an absolute pleasure to meet you, man. And a good Thank surprise. You. No worries. Take care of yourselves, man. Take care. Oh my God. Peace, man. See you later. See you later. <laughs> hey, guys. What is up? Welcome to a brand new video. I'm starting this video in the car. I'm waiting for my friend. I'm parked up in Birmingham. There's my guy. Yeah, how you doing, man? How's it going, man? Nice to see you. Nice to see you, right. dude. Am I being filmed already? Guys, this is Cheyenne. I'm gonna link his band in the description. He's frontman of a black metal band called Trivax. Absolutely awesome. If you're into that type of stuff, then I highly recommend checking it out because the energy from the music is incredible. And it's honestly an experience to listen to the music, so definitely okay. check it out. No worries, man. Okay, so you probably guessed from the title of this video what I'm gonna do. I don't need to say too much, but let's go and see what we can we, we can find and, and, and what we can work out. We're on our way to this shop now to get a few essentials to perform a ritual. Also, there's a nice Mercedes SLS here. Good car spotting time. destination you already know this place you've probably seen it on a couple of videos already our infirmary in Wolverhampton this is where we'll be doing our thing yeah so guys me and Cheyenne have found a little spot to do this ritual just to the side of the eye infirmary. We're gonna set some shit up and I'll get Cheyenne to do some explaining of the process and we can give you guys a little insight into what this specific method or whatever is about and what supposedly happens. Well, I'm not, I'm gonna try and not actually get into too much details, but uh, what it's really about, the why I do something like this, you know, it's always that It's always about being a vessel to something uh, uh, else, something different, you know, like that's just behind the walls of our world and where we live in. And uh, it's not a thing of, I think sometimes people mistake that, especially a lot of uh, people who look at this kind of thing as, a, as an act of like wishing for, for something. Not wishing for something more. And, than... and it's, it's very much for them. You know, like wishing for like money or a car or stuff. That's that's not really. I mean, I, people do that, you know, but that's not really something that I'm interested in. What it's really about is more an act of giving, you know, or like mutual giving, really. And uh, what we can do about it is to allow ourselves to forget we are us and allow for other things to come and experience things through us and get things done that because of people's uh, energy pollution don't necessarily always work out and because of uh, because there's a lot of blocks in the world of things that aren't going the way they should there's a lot of confusion for people and this is for us to firstly cleanse ourselves and then make an offering and uh, without going into, into too much details that's pretty much uh, very very basic of it and I have asked, uh, asked not to film this because it would be a um, it would be disrespectful, there would be no point to us doing something like this if it was for the video. But of course you can explain to people afterwards what you 
yourself experience. Hundred percent. So what he's basically saying is for this ritual in particular to not actually video the process to maybe summon if we do summon anything in privacy so they don't get a sense of like we're taking advantage or whatever. So like say with the ritual on my own, I don't know if that was people just messing around me or if there was something there. But maybe we'll get better results. This is not a thing of messing around either. This is not something where we are teenage kids trying to see, oh, let's see if that happens. It's not about that. It's just way, way beyond Way beyond that. that. is done there was honestly no point in recording it because it was more like a prayer if anything and the setup took a while and there was no extra guy to film what had to be done so it's done and I don't know I just feel if anything like I'm at peace and there was a couple of moments where I did feel how do I put this a sharp presence almost like an explosion in my mind of something else opening like maybe my third eye opening if that makes sense to you guys. I don't know, overall I just feel completely relaxed. Nothing bad or negative came from this, which I guess beforehand I was expecting until I settled down a bit and just accepted it for what it is. I started to feel more at ease during the process. Worship Satan and kill yourself. This building was never accessible. I promise I did not just break entry. This is how I've just found it, but <laughs> we can go inside. It gives off a spooky vibe in there, not gonna lie. Sick, man. We're in. So what was this place then? Eye Infirmary Hospital for Eyes. That, that makes it okay. That's why the vibe is very sort of neutral you sense you know it right I mean? yeah 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 exactly like it's strong you know people many people have, have been, been here, here in the past but it doesn't feel like it's too much definitely you know which is good jesus scary in here it's not scary see don't say things like that that, that only fucks with yourself coming in peace and leaving with peace nice. Large space here. Oh wow. That's like the uh, front door or something. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the front door because that's that's next yeah. to the house and everything. You know, I have never done this before. Seen any lands like this that compares? Ah, uh, not really. This is really. I have to admit, this has a home environment, especially this room right here. You can imagine this being someone's living room or something. Yeah, for sure. It's a fireplace as well that I think adds to that. Oh, definitely. The echo. The reverb. All the crap coming from the ceiling. I hope that whoever spent time here had a nice time. Jesus. <laughs> it's like a... One thing about this place is that I don't think it's been left for that long. Have you seen the containers and this room. I've never seen a place that's, yeah, I agree with you. I mean, judging by the, all the crap that's in here. This just looks like it was done in by some builders that they left and that was it. No. There's a mirror there. You can do bloody Mary stuff with that, huh? Oh. Man, I've never seen a place with so much left inside. This is still. The doors. Which one do you think that one is? Oh, shit. What? Those warnings are never good. What's that? Look at that dead bird right next to you. Holy shit. Sorry, mate. Rest in peace. Yeah, I hope you're okay. Wow, there's like three floors to this place, fuck. That's got the rot sign warning as well. So long as we don't disturb anything, like literally with asbestos, it's usually trapped inside ceilings and stuff. So if we're not being dickheads and trashing the place, we won't disturb the mold. Why would anyone do that anyway? 
Jesus, man. What? It's just, it's just amazing the amount of shit that's left. Look at that. God damn. It's just clothes. When there's this much, this much material inside a room, I always wonder if like someone's Staying here, there's mattresses here as well. I guess that's proven then. Cigarettes and uh, and ash. Just a plate of cigarettes and ash, it's crazy. There's nothing much, man. I just wanted to say a few things for this outro. I really feel like this video was a bit of a different style to my normal kind of abandoned exploration videos. My mentality completely changed after what Cheyenne was explaining to me regarding the process of the actual specific ritual that we did in today's video. Honestly, as I said earlier, it was more like a prayer, more like a form of meditation than anything else. I think when the word ritual springs to mind, you automatically think of something negative and horror related and that's that's kind of what I was expecting before I started it. I thought I was gonna go out, perform this ritual with my friend and kind of, you know, expect some crazy ass shit to happen. But it was honestly completely different and it's amazing what you can do with your mind and perspective. And it was kind of incredible that we could just turn it into something peaceful. It's really hard to explain, but I honestly came out of it just feeling relaxed. So I'm not gonna clickbait you guys and put in the title ritual gone wrong or anything like that that some YouTubers do. And I'm sorry that I couldn't have actually captured the process of the actual ritual happening on camera. But as I say, it was nothing like I actually expected. So it was quite an experience. You definitely feel a sort of energy when you're doing it and you come out feeling something that I can't quite put into words.